Today you'll learn how to make some high quality custom graphics using free templates. So I've got this business card example here. I've got this really cool metal company sign here that says Ideaspot Tutorials. That looks very interesting. And I've got this ebook. So this is like a book mock-up that I made with my own logo and background image on here. I'll show you how I did all of these during the tutorial. So if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. There are many sites that give these free templates away. Freepick.com is really good under slash mockups, lots of different kinds, t-shirts, websites, all kinds of things. I'm gonna make this company logo wall. So there's a few different logo walls. So if you're like me and you're just working in your garage and you wanna have a more um, professional looking wall, you can just grab one from here and edit it with your own logo. Uh, Unblast.com is really good under mockups. Lots of cool things here. This is where I found the ebook example. So if you're marketing an ebook, it can be really nice to have a physical book picture that's customized to your content. And there's also graphicburger.com. So Graphic Burger has lots of interesting ones as well. These ones are also completely free, so no link back is required. So some of them, um, if you want to use them for free, you need to put a link back on the website to the author to credit the author. But um, Graphic Burger ones are really nice. They don't require any link back. So that's really nice. So anyway, let's download some of these templates, open them up and see what the process is like. Okay, so starting with this book example, we've got this book mock-up with the demo content on the cover here. So opening this up in Photoshop, what you wanna do is pay attention to the layers. The layers will give you a clue on how to actually edit this template. So we're looking for something like um, your logos, your graphics. This one says, put your graphic here. So this is what we're gonna go with. So let's open this one up, double click it. It's gonna say some text layers might need to be updated. So let's click update there. And basically we can edit the cover in this layer and that'll update our mock-up layer. All right, so we just have to replace this content with our own. We can turn these on and off to see what they do. So uh, the mockups for free is that little bit of text there. Um, the effects seems to have those um, letters in the background there. The background is, they've got a couple of backgrounds. They've got this blue background and a purple background. So we can put our own background in here as well. So let's start with that. I've actually got this nice looking background from pexels.com. So this is what I'm going to use. I can just drag that JPEG in here and drop it on to top of this layer. And then you can see it doesn't uh, fit the aspect ratio here. So we could scale it or rotate it as we like. I might just uh, increase the size here. So I'm just gonna drag it up and make it a suitable size for our window. That looks pretty cool. That actually looks all right. I like how there's a bit of dark down the bottom. So the text is still readable there, that white text. Next thing I'll do is I might change the that mockups for free text there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to choose the text tool there, and we can go ahead and change that. Let's just call it the, the idea spot story, for example. Next thing I might do is put my logo on here. So I could just drag a logo, put it on top of my background. Uh, let's go ahead and try that. So I'll just pop that on. This is just the logo I made ages ago, just using Canva. So I'll just pop that in the middle. Looks good. And there we go. Looks awesome. All right, so now we can just close that out. It'll ask us to save, so click yes to save that on. And there we go, easy as the Idea Spot Story book mock up. So it looks really nice, I think. Next up, we've got this cool metal logo on an office, it looks like here, but this looks really interesting. Um, looking at the layers here, we've got this one called Replace This Screen. So let's double click that one. And over here it says replace this logo. So let's double click that one and check that out. So there's our logo. It's just a black text and a bit of a logo there. We can replace this one. Probably the quickest way to do this is just make a new layer. So the plus button down there, we can make a new layer. And we can just turn the eye off to make that logo invisible. And then we can just put whatever we want in here. So I've just got idea spot text with um, a uh, light bulb icon there. Pretty simple to do, just use the text tool. Uh, there and I got this icon. I'll show you where I got this icon from. This is just a standard font awesome, fontawesome.com open source uh, vector logo. So that's the light bulb I'm using here. But there's obviously lots of other uh, logos and icons available online. So you can use whatever you want really. This is just our example. Let's go ahead and close that layer and save it before we close it. And now it should actually appear on our um, final mock-up here. So this does take a little while to process, depending on your computer, obviously. Um, but there we go. Got that nice metal idea spot. Got that reflection effect. Looks really cool. I'll do one more example here. So this is a card. It looks very realistic with this paper texture and the lighting effect. It looks like a real piece of cardboard with this um, recessed gold lettering on here. So again, looking at our layers, there's one called your design here and your design here. So let's 
try this one. Sometimes you have to try several of them, but this looks like the right one to edit. So logo your design here. Let's go ahead and start editing this. All right, let's just get rid of that bit where it says logo. Um, let's just highlight it and delete that out. And we can add in our own text here. So let's type something in. Let's just type my name, Alex. Um, it's white, so I want to change that to something else. So Alex, we want to use this color. Let's grab that color. Looks good. And change the color. Awesome. And we want that to be bigger, obviously. So let's go 60 maybe. Awesome. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. It doesn't actually look like the used text for that, your design here. Yeah, this is just um, pixel image. So we can go ahead and delete that out. There we go. Um, we can write something else in here too. I don't want to be big this time. Let's make, small, make it smaller, maybe 18. Yeah, so let's just call it uh, tech tutorials. Cool, cool. And let's line that up in the middle. Good. And I think you get the idea anyway. Don't mind my lack of graphic design ability. Get in the way of anything that looks awesome, I think, <laughs> for, for two minutes work. Quite like that. So that pretty much wraps it up. Let me know what you think in the comments. I really enjoy making these kind of graphics. And this is a little bit different from my usual tutorials where I'm doing cloud setups or website design or WordPress or whatever. So a little bit different from usual, but I really do love making these graphics. Even though I have no graphic design skill, I still quite enjoy the process. Let me know if this sort of stuff is useful. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.